And it, it was it was a rapid response that I wish Republicans would do. Ending spending is doing it. And so I asked Brian Still to come up here for just a minute or two. And he can't introduce Ben, but he can tell you about Ben if he wants. But I, I really hope he tells you about Ending Spending. They are a wonderful group. Thank you uh, very much, Eric. This is my fourth Red State Gathering. Um, a couple years ago, I had the honor of introducing now Senator Ted Cruz. That was one of the races that Ending Spending got involved in a few years ago. It was Ted's primary right here in Texas. Uh, so that's a great thing that he's in the Senate. We've also supported candidates like Scott Walker and Ken Cuccinelli, who uh, we heard from this morning. The reason, though, that I was going to introduce Ben Sass is because of a vision uh, of a man named Joe Ricketts, who founded the company known as TD Ameritrade, which is headquartered in Nebraska. And that's how I got my start at Ending Spending. We launched it four years ago to fight earmarks and to fight big government, big Republicans uh, who were spending out of control, and Eric's been our partner ever since. In any event, we had a big victory a couple of years ago together with Red State when we defeated a guy named John Bruning running in the Republican primary for U.S. Senate, and we were all delighted when Deb Fisher got elected. Well, this time around, that's right, big, big round of applause for Deb. This time around, I, I got a phone call from Joe's oldest son, a guy named Pete Ricketts, and he said, you know, I've decided to throw my hat in the ring and I'm going to run for governor. So we stayed out of Nebraska, even though we really love Ben. Um, but Eric didn't stay out of Nebraska. And Eric and the Red State community endorsed Pete Ricketts and then endorsed Ben Sass. And they were two very hard-fought primaries, a lot of candidates, I think 10 total candidates. And a funny thing happened when that happened. Nebraska's a red state. But in the red states especially, we have to elect the right leaders. Hard-fought, 10 candidates, two primaries, governor and senate. And the conservative movement got united. After Eric's endorsement, Senator Cruz endorsed. Ted um, came to visit Nebraska twice for these candidates. Scott Walker, Paul Ryan. And as a consequence, Pete Ricketts is now the Republican nominee for governor. Thank you. That's very exciting. Pete, Pete won by less than 1% of the vote, so I tell you every vote counts. And Ben Sass won. Ben won overwhelmingly. And I suspect he'll be the next US senator from Nebraska. And, and I'll simply say this before I, I go, and I really appreciate Eric letting me talk. Um, we all know about the problems in our country. We know about the problems in Washington. And I think what Pete Ricketts is going to do as governor and Ben Sass as senator is going to, we're going to show Washington that they should learn from Nebraska. And that's a super important thing, just like we're learning from Texas. And the solutions are found in the states. And so I'll just close by saying thanks for the kind word about ending spending. 